Hey, howdy. I am back from seeing my friend who I fixed that necklace for, and she was really happy that I finished it. Or, well, like, that I did it for her. And, uh, you know, I just did it for a cup of coffee. <laughs> um, but we had a good time chatting and catching up, and I'm really glad that it's off my plate, and I'm going to try and deflect other things like that <laughs> that I... But it was just, you know, we had made that together when she was taking private one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. And so it kind of made sense that I would just fix it for her. Um, and so now I'm going to keep on going with this edging clamp. And I would love to finish it today. Um, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Oh, I, and so this morning before going to see my friend, I did come down here and film the little segment for the final finishing of the piece or well, the chain, you know, with the flex shaft tools. So, um, that, I don't know if that'll be an interesting video, but you got to take the footage first to see what it's going to turn into. That's what I'm learning. So sometimes it's better to like film more and then we'll see if I end up using it at least for right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to tap these things and then probably cut these elements down to a more appropriate length. And then I'm going to solder these things onto the ends of these and that'll be difficult, but then it'll be pretty much done besides the final polishing filing, polishing, sanding, finish work, and then also I'm going to have to set the stones. So let's, uh, without further ado, let's get to work. Well, I have a long day ahead of me in the studio that you're about to watch me, and uh, I don't even know it yet. It's like you're watching the innocence of... <laughs> an unknowing person um, with what's about to happen. And that's just a little foreshadowing. I mean, you're going to see it. This video is only 14 minutes long, so <laughs> it will all be revealed in a very short amount of time. But this was one of the most tough days, so we're going to relive it together. Oh yeah, so I have my piece. I'm going to drill, you know, the, the side of the inside of the tube. If it's slightly undersized, that's good because then right before you tap it, you drill through and just make it exactly the inner diameter that it needs to be tapped by the tap. And so, you know, I, I was able to clamp it in that little hand miter jig and now I'm tapping it and it's going so well because that's such a great um, holding device. So that went well. And now I have to try and figure out how to hold. See, I'm drilling through these both now. And I'm holding in the ring clamp, and that's fine. Like, I knew, but how am I going to hold it while I'm tapping it? I'm not going to tap it, really, with the ring clamp. clamp. Um, so, yeah, so I, oh, see right there. So I'm trying to hold it in my bench, bench rice, and it's just... The sterling silver is so annealed and soft after all those solder jobs. I mean, really one solder job would do it, but, oh, so it, it pulled it. You know, the force of me tapping the inside of the tube pulled the tube. And it did it on both sides. You can kind of see there, yeah. <laughs> I, what? <laughs> So I try with my flat pliers to, to get it back into alignment. But you can tell by how I'm just pretty upset right now. <laughs> my demeanor. I'm pretty upset. What am I going to... And so then I, I just have to cut it apart. You know, sometimes in sessions like this, I thought about it and I was like, there's no way to fix this. I might as well just cut my losses and just um, do it again but so so these tubes are already tapped so that's one reason why I'm reusing them is because if I was gonna go and do the same thing again it would happen again 
but these are already tapped. So, you know, I cut that one and, and I felt like it was taking too long for me to cut it and then file it. And so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heat it up and flow the solder and pull it off the tubes. Yeah, there you go. It's called unsoldering. No, it's not. But people have asked me before, can you teach me how to unsolder? And it's like, this is how you do it. You just heat it up and when the, um, the solder flows, just knock it off where the seam is. So yeah, I'm just cutting my losses and I think I didn't even have time to reprint this. I mean, I could have made time, but I just ended up choosing the next size up of clamp. So you can see on the bench, there's two of them cut out and I just, all right, I'm just gonna, so you, you can tell that it's slightly bigger, but it's also like, I'm making this up so it can be, nobody cares. So yeah, just <laughs> take two. Cutting it out of this silver sheet. Look at how fast that is. I was not, I was being a little wasteful, but I was also like in a hurry and there's, n there's no negative repercussions to like not cutting it to the most, you know, it's not gold and, and you're only seeing this in retrospect. Like what's done is done. That's how I cut it out. And um, I finished it, you know, again and then cut it in half. And I just, I do the whole back spine first and then cut it in half afterwards. It's just because it's more consistent and it's easier to finish the exterior and stuff um, with the files and sanding and the flex shaft tools, like when it's one unit. So there we are back kind of to where we started. You can see here, it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, so this day I was basically on fire, just like gotta get it done. And so you could see there's a little bit of the old solder slop on there, but now I'm like, okay, we're gonna do the center first, the top and the bottom. You know, this is just different than I soldered it the first time. Um, and it really doesn't matter. So that's on there. Second time you're seeing this same. And I'm not really drinking a beer. That's a, um, well, I am drinking a beer. It's a non-alcoholic beer they have um it's not no deal uh, it's not no duels but it's a different brand of non-alcoholic beer and i just needed it <laughs> i just needed to feel like i was drinking a beer because <laughs> this was a tough day because the deadline was coming up and i just was like oh this isn't you know it made it not fun slightly at that moment until i regained my footing so I've pickled it and taken it out of the pickle. And then I'm gonna do these two end tubes at the same time. Or at least try, you know. You can, if anything, you set it up and then if you don't feel confident, you only have to do one at a time. That back one though is not lined up really well, I can see from here. Yep, just going for it. And remember I like cut in little seats, so there's little half round seats right where the tubes land, so it goes pretty good. But so these are these tubes are all already threaded now. So once I pickle it and take it out of the pickle, oh I had to fill a hole, I think, right at the end there. But you know, once I pickle it, I just have to like clean up the taps, maybe run clean up the threads, like maybe run the tap through the holes one last time. So these are the jaw pads and I, I wanna make the holes, you know, big enough to tap the right size threads on the inside of the jaw pads. Did I need to do this? Like I didn't, but I felt like it would be a better connection if it was threaded on and then soldered through the threads. And also it would be more likely to stay in place when I was soldering it, if it's threaded together. You know, cause the, the solder will penetrate in the threads. So yeah, I just, once I don't know what I would do without that miter jig, to 
to be completely honest. Yep, just trying to drill through without having it spin in there. I mean, even then, it's not the best way to hold those things. Well, but it is the best way to hold those things. But it's you can see when I'm tapping it, it's wanting to rotate in there. And you don't want to have it so tight that you squish it. You know, these are all just... It's like the, what you deal with in everyday life, right? So, but yeah, now, now I'm finally, you see, I'm cleaning up the threads that were already cut. Uh, and so now that threaded piece can fit in. And that was a huge relief when I reached the end of this studio session. Hey. I'm friggin' toast. I'm so done. But that's okay because I've decided I'm going to stop for tonight. So I hear all the components that I have and this isn't this isn't on soldered on there. It's just threaded on there. But yeah, each one of these, boop, let me arrange it so it's aesthetically pleasing. Maybe I'll take a photo for Instagram. Yeah, so it was, um, I mean, you guys saw how much I had to do to like catch back up with where I was after I tapped those. I mean, it's almost like I should have soldered the tubes onto like a dummy piece of sheet and then tapped them and then taken them off of the dummy piece of sheet. But, you know, that's pretty much basically what I did. <laughs> And it's interesting because the one that's in the one that's in the middle actually tapped the best because I don't know, maybe something to do with like having support on both sides. And so I was able to hold it in the vise or well in the um, miter jig and then put the miter jig in the vise and it really didn't distort the tube whereas the other two arms here and here the tubes did I mean the tubes are shorter they are shorter but they got distorted and so I'm hoping that once the like hole is obscured by the threaded rods you won't ever notice that I mean I'm that's what I'm thinking so you know all I have left to do cut down the threaded rods, um, insert the threaded rods into the beat piece, the back piece, and then solder the job pads on, and then file, sand, polish, set the stones, and we're done. So I think that that all is like um, totally achievable in one more studio session. So I think I was hoping to be able to get this done in two studio sessions, but I was like, eh, it might actually take three. So that's okay. I think I have, I've left myself enough time. Thank God. Okay. Well, that's it for all for now. I got to turn this off. Everything, like all the batteries of all the cameras are dying and the cards are full. And, you know, that's just the all symbolizes a good day of, work <laughs> and uh all right and i'm happy to have been able to spend this time in my studio so and with you and thank you for always watching and being interested in the behind the scenes and um keeping me passionate about working with my studio and i'm really happy to be able to share it with somebody who cares so much about it so thank you for making it this far and um for always being invested all right well I love you. I, ha I hope you have a great rest of your day and I can't wait to get down into my studio again and keep on trucking. So um, I will talk to you then. All right. But until then, I love you. Okay. Bye. Mwah.